I'm going to put more focus on the procurers of prostitution. In other words, the males. That was the warning by Ethics State Minister Reverend Father Simon Lokodo on Friday to the men who solicit for sex, blaming them for the rise in prostitution. In spite of the warning, NTV phoned the ladies of the night going about their businesses on many streets in Kampala. According to FIDA Uganda's advocacy officer, Masi Mundru, the wrong people may be targeted. In what state would he have found them that they will become the criminals in themselves? Because unless he's saying he's going to get the, the, this man and the prostitute in the act, that he's going to arrest both of them. Because at the end of the day, it's not the man practicing the prostitution, it is the woman. The coordinator of the Uganda Network for Sex Workers Organization, Shamila Bate, told in TV that arresting the clients who pay for their services will not stop the trade. Others uh, work through uh, phone calls, so it's going to be a challenge, but at the end of it all, it won't end. So humiliating, indignifying, reducing you to a mere toy. The definition of morality should not come from one person. It should look at the cultures and the customs of Ugandans. Lokodo said that the police has a special team to crack down on prostitution. One section is in the intelligence and the other is in the enforcement. The challenge is how to track down sex workers as some operate in private places or even in their homes. We know there are people who are running brothels. I'm not sparing anybody. That is not right to me. And I think we shall challenge that as sex workers because we believe we are citizens of Uganda. And the way you people always dress skimpily, you, you suggest like, you know, you're trying to attract some younger people, especially the young girls out there, to join the same practice. This is a role of the parents to make sure that their young girls are in schools or they are at homes. We as sex workers and who are in organizations we are working hard to ensure that young girls are chased away from the street. To sleep with a man and there is no love attached to it. We are not looking for love, we are looking for money. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Weekend Edition.